All right, Cody, sitting inside the uh, Tremor now. I'll show you the uh, interior features that you will uh, get to enjoy with this truck here. So, starting on the left-hand side, you, of course, have uh, one touch up and down for the driver and passenger front windows here. Also, the power folding side view mirrors as well. Uh, you can set the truck up so that as you um, hit the lock button, these mirrors fold in for you. So when parking in the city, you're reducing the risk of people dinging those up. Uh, you also have your memory settings here, one, two, and three, right beside the lock buttons. Those are gonna tie into your seat setting as well as your power tilting and telescoping steering wheel setting and your power adjustable foot pedals. Uh, if you'd like, you can also link that up to the key you use. So every time you hop into the truck there with a certain key, it just automatically biases itself towards that uh, seat steering wheel and uh, pedal setting. I mentioned mirror spotlights here. So I turn that uh, driver's side one on. You can see my, uh, my hand lighting up there. Thanks to the light, turning it off, nothing. Um, you can also access those in your screen. Your Pro Power onboard is this button right here, just beside your tailgate release. Your automatic high beams are engaged right there, but you can also take over normal operation of those, uh, of those lights by adjusting the setting. Uh, right here is your center high mounted light in the, uh, for the bed of the truck. So you can turn that one on and off as you please. As you look at the steering wheel, your adaptive cruise control is this button right here. So I can turn your cruise control on and you'll see on the right hand side, it will adjust the number of lines on the screen there for us. Just representing the distance established between you and the vehicle in front, clicking the lane centering button below you'll see that it puts a circle around the truck and uh, that would imply that the camera that lives right here uh, is reading the lines on the road for you and keeping the truck centered in that lane. Uh, those features, well, sorry, the, the lane centering feature and anything that works with this camera works best uh, when you can see the road uh, nice and clearly, including those lines. Um, that adaptive cruise control will work uh, anytime based on the fact that it is a radar. Uh, blacked out logos on the interior of the truck here as well. Uh, as I move to the uh, uh, to the right here, you do have that work surface in this truck. So if you're uh, needing any space to do uh, a little bit of paperwork or, I don't know, eat food at the drive-thru, um, you can do so. Left-hand side here, two-wheel high, four-wheel high, four low, and advanced four by four. I can lock my rear diff with the push of a button. As I twist this knob here, telling me I need to put fuel in it. Um, you can change your drive mode. So you of course have a tow haul mode, eco mode, depositing less fuel in the cylinders, sport mode doing more fuel in the cylinders, slippery mode, which will uh, adjust your uh, advanced all wheel drive um, and detect for wheel slippage a little bit more effectively. Deep snow and sand, locking your rear diff, turning your traction control off, mud and ruts doing pretty well the same. Rock crawl mode will want to send you into four wheel low and also turns on your front facing camera here. So if you're doing any kind of uh, off-road driving, you've got the modes to do so. Pro trailer backup assist. So if you've never backed a trailer up before in your life, twisting this guy to the right means that the trailer goes to the right. Twisting her to the left means that the trailer will go to the left. Quick access to my uh, cameras here. I mentioned front facing camera washer. So as I, uh, wash my windshield, uh, you would be able to wash that front facing camera. Full front facing camera, 180 degree split view so I can spot the corners of the truck. Getting toasty in here. Uh, as I'm adjusting those, of course, heated seats, ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel as well. Back to the cameras. You have uh, your bed camera there uh, for your center high mount. Room for an auxiliary camera, your hitch camera, and a full screen backup camera. Um, now this hitch camera is quite cool as the truck does automatic over the air updates. And one of the most recent updates was the ability to use this bed camera at highway speeds. So clicking the button there, turns that camera on. And as you're rocking down the highway, if you've got a load in the bed of the truck, you can keep an eye on it and make sure that things are Still looking good. 
Uh, rest of the features being Sync 4 technology, so wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in this screen. Turn those parking sensors off with the click of a button up top. Um, traction control, one pedal drive for some off-road driving. Uh, you also have a trail turn assist in here, which I can teach you about. Uh, down below, Bluetooth phone charger, uh, sorry, wireless phone charger, uh, USB and a USB-C plug-in as well. Quick, easy, soft close. Uh, Bang & Olufsen Unleashed as well. So you've got speakers absolutely everywhere. 18 in all, including in the headrest, there being two there and uh, two for the driver. Um, all in all, a very well-equipped truck uh, and one that I've been eyeing up here for the past little while if it was uh, in the works for me. But here you go. That's the truck. Beautiful interior, Tremor Boss logo, perforated leather seats, and then there's a look at your back seat and all-weather floor mat.